Alright guys, so I got a quick little video here on how to convert an engine with points and condenser to electronic ignition. Now, you're probably asking why you want to do this. Uh, points and condenser is a very reliable system, but they're, you know, you're known if the engine's been sitting for a while, the points are going to corrode up. And suppose this engine's on a generator and you need to get it going right now. Well, instead of popping the flywheel off and getting to the points and realizing, hey, my condenser has been leaking or you know, points are rusted up so bad you can't do nothing with it. Well, there's a couple of simple ways to fix it. And nowadays, the most simple way, and probably the cheapest way, is just put an electronic ignition coil on it. I want to talk about this real quick right now. Uh, this is a five horse brig, that's what I'm using for an example. And the part number for the magnetron or electronic ignition coil is 397-358. Now, if you get on eBay or Amazon and you order that, chances are you're going to order this one. And this one won't work, but it's the same part number. One visible difference between these two coils besides the writing on this one. If you look, see how this is square where the bolt goes through and this is kind of oval shaped? you got to have the one that's square. That's the only one that'll work on these five horsepower. And for some reason, if you look, see that? one with the oval shape is just a little bit smaller, about an eighth inch, the shorter clearance, and it will not work on there. I've tried and tried. This one, however, will. And this is the simplest way, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, I already got the bolts out of the unit. This is a brand new point style coil I put on here. This is not a magnetron. So if you got an old engine, this is going to be the type of coil you got. It's just going to have a wire going out. It probably won't be spliced. It's just going to run down here behind the flywheel and go underneath the cover there. So all you got to do is cut this wire. In this case, we're just going to unhook it. Cause I, just, I was curious to see if these points were any good in this engine, and they're not. So that wire, you can just fold it over. It don't matter. So now you got one wire coming out of the coil. You may have a, a bare wire coming out here going to the ground. Leave that wire alone, but cut the other wire that's going down to the points. Just cut it. Then you're going to pick up this electronic ignition module. And you can get these usually about $15 a piece. I got lucky and found a two pack for like $13 on there. And there's several different styles, but they all should work the same. It'll come with a little wiring diagram. On, th on this particular one, this wire here will go to ground. You'll have a bolt going through this, mount it somewhere on the engine to ground. And this you'll be left with one wire coming off here, and this is going to tie into your points wire. So let me hook this up. Alright, so this is a temporary setup for the, just for making this video. So I got a bolt here and I got it taped up. So that's running to here, going in that side. So like, like I said, this is the wire that would go down to the points and condenser. You can leave the points and condenser, it's not going to hurt a thing. They're just going to be there doing nothing. But you don't have to take the flywheel off or nothing. Okay, so now, okay, like I said, this is a very temporary setup just for making this video. Now, I would not put put this here on the cylinder like this because it's going to get hot and it could damage it or at least it might shut off when it gets too hot. But uh, this, like I said, it's a temporary video. I didn't feel like drilling a hole and everything just to make temporary setup. And I also forgot to mention where you splice this wire in. If you run another wire off of it, that could be your shutoff wire. You just shut it off the ground to short it out. Let's go ahead and check the spark and see what we got. And she's sparking. I don't know how well you can tell. We got a good blue spark. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the plug in here and fire it up real quick. I haven't tested this motor a whole lot, I just got it. And I figured it'd be something just to mess around with. Still having carburetor issue. That noise. I only put one, like one bolt in that flywheel cover. 
Now I'm going to show you the other way of doing this. Alright guys, so there's, there's one other little method I'm going to talk about briefly, but I'm not going to actually do it on here. But you can buy this, well you should be able to get these electronic ignition kits. It's a part number 394970. And there's still some of these new old stock, after, or new old stock ones on eBay and stuff. But it just slides on the coil here. See how it'll go in there and it'll just snap in. Then this wire here would connect to ground like this. Then you got another wire sticking out right here. And your wire coming from your coil, it would have went to the points, would have soldered into here, and you could come off of this with your shutoff wire. And this turns this type of coil into a magnetron coil. See how the magnetron coil's got this little bump right here? That's what this adds to this coil. So it's the you can see this is a magnetron, this is a points coil. So this converts this into a magnetron coil. So I thought that was pretty neat too. I wanted to show that briefly because that is an option. But your cheapest and fastest way is just to get one of these aftermarket coils or even an actual Briggs coil that uh, that it's made like this. It's got that high part, but you're going to pay a little bit more for that. You can get this, you know, I'd say 10 to 20 dollars is what this is going to cost. And this is going to be between 20 and 30 most places. So that's the price difference. If you want to keep it original, get this type of coil instead of this. But this will go on just the same as your old one came off. And it's labeled on here. This side out, and this says cylinder side. I wrote on there five horsepower. But we're just going to put it on here and just to show you that it works. That's all I want to do. So you got your two bolts that go in here. And another problem with these aftermarket ones, there's really no way to put this shield on there because if you just have one bolt holding it, it could probably work loose. So if you really want it on there, you might be able to bend that tab around or cut it there and wrap it around just to hold it somehow. But most people just do away with it. All it does is direct more air towards the valves. But uh, all right, so let me get these screws started. And you want to, you need two feeler gauges or a business card, whatever you got. Now spin it around until your magnet gets up here, right in the middle. These are ten thousandths. That's what I've set all coils at. Never had any problems out of a coil set at ten thousandths. It's a good all-around setting. Briggs calls for ten to fourteen. Ten thousandths works great. So you want to snug these up, don't go real crazy because you're just going into aluminum and it will strip out. Now you see this little terminal right here? You just take a piece of wire, I'm just going to use one off that ignition module, you put it on here and run this to wherever your kill switch was. In this case we're just going to run it out here just like this. We want to make sure you take these out. Then we're going to put the flywheel cover back on and start it up again. Well, there you have it. That's the three ways of converting points and condenser to electronic ignition. Third being the easiest and probably the cheapest too. I also want to note that uh, this type of uh, ignition module is not meant to replace points and condenser in an automotive style coil. So if you got your old coilers, it's got the big can coil on the side like a, your old car coils have. That's not going to work to replace the points and condenser on that. Because on that, the points and condenser set the timing 100%. The main thing that sets the timing on this is the magnets on the flywheel. That's what sets the main thing. Well, guys, I want to make a quick little video on that. Showing you how to convert to electronic ignition. I have a lot of people ask me about that. So I figured I'd 
put a quick video together on how to do that. So, so if you got any questions on point and condenser to electronic ignition conversion on your older Briggs, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you later.